Good morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Mara, and Mara's Monday morning messages, and we have a great, great set of messages for this morning. So we are in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde um, now until December 3rd. Uh, we've already been there for a little bit, and um, so this is uh, really a time for releasing old limiting ways of thinking and it's also showing us what we're going to be working on in the mercury retrograde retrograde period and so um, move ahead with beloved projects that you have going on this is a good time to move ahead and then um, at the start of mercury retrograde I'll be able to give you some more information on it which is uh, starts December 3rd and then goes for about three weeks that's when that slow down kind of feeling occurs. So right now, there's good energy to get stuff done. So my suggestion is get the stuff done now. Um, we're also just astrologically in this purification process um, or period where there's intense, uh, intensely deep and transformation is happening right now. And... Um, your self-value and your self-worth are priorities, and this is a big theme for today. So, um, love all of you is the big reminder, and it's you'll see it's it'll be reminded of you in another couple of cards too. Um, love all of you and go at your own pace, the pace of grace. So, you going at your own pace means. When you feel uncomfortable, um, stop and be aware of that and um, slow down. Slow down, speed up, shift something so that you're feeling more comfortable. Um, do one task at a time and, uh, and that is really going to help us in this process, this purification process that we're going through now. But um, the big the big thing is our own self-value and, and self-worth is super, super important for us to be very aware of and focused on right now. This, You can imagine if you have a really positive self-worth and self-value, that literally goes out to everything and touches everything and anything that you do, that you say, that you, um, anything that you... Uh, any people that you touch in your life um, are going to be affected positively by that. When you have a more positive self-worth um, and value. So, great thing to be aware of. Our oil of the day is Deep Blue, or the Soothing Blend. And um, this is all about inner strength. And it supports us in letting go of toxic thoughts or the belief that we are somehow not strong enough. So again, this leads back to the self-worth. Um, we are strong enough. We are perfectly strong for our situation. Um, we were not created to not be successful. We were created to be successful, joyous, happy. Um, and so Deep Blue reminds us of the fact that we are strong enough. Um, but sometimes when we've had deep disappointments in our life, um, this will remind us and help to restore hope and knowledge in the strength of who we are. So it brings strength to emotional wounds, um, you know, as well as physical. And I know many of us have used this for physical traumas, but realize that it's also for emotional traumas and that many times physical traumas have an emotional trauma attached to it. Um, so this restores that strength in ourself, um, and it allows these emotional wounds to actually come to the surface, be seen, transformed, and healed. And Deep Blue teaches acceptance and patience and tolerance when we're in pain. And it could be emotional pain or it could be physical pain, but the Deep Blue really teaches us acceptance of that, acceptance of ourselves, and acceptance of the fact that we are strong enough, we have all that we need to get through a situation. And especially if you have these oils, you know how 
how much they support us in moving through um, traumatic events. That and that's a part of being human. So use your deep blue. I've uh, I decided, or or what felt like was good for me was putting it on my wrists, and then I put it on my third eye. So those are some good places to start with. But please put it wherever um, wherever you want, uh, avoiding any orifices. You know because it can be a little spicy with the winter green and um, camphor and stuff. Okay. Moving along, so our first card of the day is this Andara, the Andarian Higher Heart. And this is about loving communication, speaking the truth from your heart. You are safe to speak your truth. The essence is pure divine grace, which opens us up to the gifts of the universe and the cosmos. So it really brings together the energies of your higher heart and of your throat. And so you can imagine when you bring those two energies together, it helps us to communicate with unconditional love for ourselves first and then for everyone that we are uh, in contact with. So this is a really beautiful, um, as you can see, uh, light-filled, green-filled stone. And, um, and so that's going to help us have courage to speak our truth. Okay, moving along. The next card from our moon deck is called Worth. I free myself from critical thoughts towards my body and my worth. Ah, uh, I told you we're going to see more of this self-worth thing happening through all these cards. So beware of your inner critic. Perhaps we can teach this voice to be more uplifting, and more supportive. So I know for myself, when I have thoughts like that, like, why is this happening to me? Or what did I do to deserve this? Or um, this hurts so much emotionally. My heart hurts so much that this is happening to me. What helps me is to shift those feelings and thoughts to, I am safe, I'm protected, I am enough, and I am divinely guided in all that I say, all that I think, and all that I do. And when I do that, I literally can take a deep breath again. So I highly recommend writing those down on maybe a post-it, put it in your car, bathroom, kitchen, desk, and I'll say them again. I am safe and protected. I am enough. I am divinely guided in all that I say, that I think, and that I do. And when you do that, that inner critic really just dissipates completely. And so, um, you can exercise this and practice this, and it really um, will help you to increase your connection with yourself. And, um, and they have a really, um, on this moon deck, they had this sweet um, exercise that you can do also. And again, when we move things into our bodies, they become more real. So, um, and you, be, you can shift these thoughts. So what you do is you you put your hands like this, like you basically make a fist, but then you have your pointers up and you go straight up above your head and you st you can stand or you can sit, but make sure you have excellent posture and you literally can hold this position and do long deep breathing. So when you're breathing in, maybe up to five or up to eight, up to 10 counts, and then release it for five, eight, 10 counts, and do that through your nose for three to 11 minutes long. And it will increase your connection to the divine and to the truth, which is that you are 100% worthy and that that inner critic is not the truth. So I love that exercise, um, and I've done that in Kundalini Yoga before, and it's, um, it is a powerful, it's a powerful position, right? And, um, 
and you can imagine that energy um, uh, getting more connected with yourself um, from the divine and through into you. And as you breathe, you can literally breathe it down into you and then breathe out anything that doesn't serve you. And those lower thoughts that are not the truth are not serving you. Okay, our final card is the Eagle King. Kind of a creepy picture, but nonetheless, an excellent message. So uh, the Eagle King, remember these uh, cards have an ally and a challenger. So the ally portion of this um, card is the Eagle King is soaring high above the mountains and valleys of life and is able to see the big picture even when you feel lost. So he takes your prayers up to the divine where they're answered in um, keeping into consideration the highest good for all. So he really helps with um, big perspective. And you can imagine an eagle soaring up above can really see things from a totally different vantage point. And sometimes when we're stuck in our lives, we, um, we forget. We forget. That's why it's nice to travel sometimes, even if you're just going a couple of hours away, um, to get out of your house, out of your apartment, out of your wherever you're living, and go outside, um, go to a different town, go for a day someplace. It really completely can shift your perspective and um, remind you of what's important in life and remind you that you're fine as well. So the challenger of this uh, card, the challenge is to see a higher purpose in the events that are occurring in your life. So even when things are not going according to your plan or what you thought you wanted, um, remind yourself there's always a reason for the detour, right? So when we have a higher perspective and when we can really... Um, uh, allow ourselves to know that again we are divinely guided and protected and safe and that everything always works out no matter how grim things look it always works out so anyway that is the message of today which is November 27th 2017 I forgot to say that at the beginning but that is our message for today um, post Thanksgiving and swooping us right into the holidays of December. So I um, wish and hope for all of you love and light and healing. And um, I uh, look forward to sharing with you a new message next week. Make it a great week. Thanks, everyone.